Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles is here, and you have the Seven of Wands underneath it. With the star in the reverse and the five of cups in the reverse. I feel like somebody, somebody's family is really blocking them from seeing the truth of who they actually are. Someone, somebody here, and this this is this is like the second or third reading in the last week or so that I've got like that. Somebody's family. is really, really creating a lot of chaos and conflict in their life. I don't know if this is due to them doing something very wicked or if it's just like a mindset, but it feels like someone, I'm picking up the energy of a person. I mean, this could be you or someone that you're dealing with, where it's like someone is, is practically oblivious to the fact that the reason why they are fighting so hard to perhaps create a family or balance like with their own finances. The reason why it's so difficult for them to get um, a home property or for them to create generational wealth for themselves is because of their family. Now, I don't, this could be a generational pattern of behavior. It could be a hex. It could be a curse. But someone needs to have the courage to really stand up to their family, okay? Because the star is here in the reverse. It's like if someone doesn't put up some type of boundaries with their family or, you know, this could be someone's family or like someone that they had a family with even. If someone does not put up boundaries in this situation, they run the risk of like practically losing hope. Somebody is losing hope. The Five of Cups is in the reverse. This is like trying to come out of some kind of grief or despair. Somebody here needs support because the nine of wands is in the reverse as well. So with the nine of wands being here in the reverse, someone has a very just demanding person in their life. I don't know if this is someone's ex, like lover, partner, or like someone's parents, siblings, or like I said, this could be a mindset or someone has this mentality that like they they have to take care of their family or they have been they just randomly fell you see how they, they just fail and they left a mess something is gonna come out Plants, roots, something is going to come out and it's going to be messy. Somebody is withholding possible like money, finances, and inheritance, a home, or the truth about something here. Somebody may find out that they're adopted. There's something being withheld. And someone is really, really trying to figure out why is it so hard for them to get ahead. It's because of this family secret or just this family dynamic. Like this four of cups, somebody doesn't realize that there's a reason why they're missing opportunities. I really feel that man, somebody has somebody in their family that could be doing some type of witchcraft or spells on them or trickery, something. Something here is not right about this situation. The lovers, all oh, this law cards. The lovers, the eight of swords, 
the Queen of Wands in the reverse, of course. King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, and then the Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Lovers. And you know, I was going to say this too because I have another reading similar to this. Somebody's family definitely does not approve of their choice in a lover because someone's lover, I feel, is offering a person support. And this, this support is making someone, I feel, comfortable with going in a new direction that their family does not support. And whoever this is, whether it's you or someone that you're dealing with, with the lover's card here, someone is stuck in this mindset of creating unity. I feel really bad for them because this is somebody who really wants unity. They want their family to come together and everyone to get along. You know, it, it's definitely like a people-pleasing mentality. And they don't realize that they literally are being restrained by their own family. Or their perspective about life that has been taught by their family is the reason why they're stuck in these circumstances. You have the, the queen of wands here in the reverse. Someone could have a, an extremely controlling mother figure. or sibling or someone here that, or I mean, this could be an ex-lover, but you have the queen of wands here in the reverse with the king of pentacles and the hierophant. The ace of wands, yeah, th this is like, I feel like this king of pentacles could be a mask, but, and then this hierophant could even be like a father figure. And then this queen of wands could be a mother figure, this Queen of Wands and King of Pentacles also could be a couple, but somebody's parents. There's a person of some kind of authority here. This person could be um somebody could have a parental figure that's like a professor. I mean a professor or a preacher. <clears throat> this person has a certain belief system about relationships or something. And someone here is being inspired now to move in a different direction to pursue some kind of new idea with the Ace of Wands. It's a new creative endeavor or project. They're going after their passion. But somebody doesn't realize that like their parents, their family or somebody really has a problem with what they're choosing to do. And it's, it's very odd because whoever this is happening to, it really feels like they are so oblivious to this. Like they really don't know. Yeah, the tower in the reverse. So whoever you are, this this could be your family feeling this way. But what I'm I'm sensing here is for some of you, you've already gone through this. And you could already be in your divine purpose. You could be the person that is here to try and assist someone to come out of some type of restrictions or to heal. This is like a really bad situation, though, because someone here has a family that is terrible. And the fact that you have tried to assist this person with moving into like maybe a higher level of consciousness, maybe you're encouraging this person to do something that they like to do that's going to bring them income or whatever. This somebody's family is trying to like silence you. Because you are encouraging their family member to be better. 
somebody's family wants them to stay in some kind of illusion and stuck. Yeah, look, here's a page of pentacles taking an offer to the high priestess. Yeah, somebody's family is against whoever this person is taking an offer to an extremely intuitive person. This high priestess is a real threat to this family. So a lot of you listening here, you could be in this high priestess energy. You have a friend or a partner, a lover or someone. You right now are being affected by their this situation with their family. Their family is attacking you because their family thinks that you know some type of secret. This could be someone even from your past, but someone's family is under the impression that because you carry this divine energy or this this knowing as a high priestess that you know something about them because they're hiding it's clear they're hiding something the ten of pentacles in the reverse is the first card that came out these people are hiding something about an inheritance life insurance money a property a secret seven of wands and they want to keep this blocked these people have wanted to keep something blocked So that this masculine will miss opportunities, they will feel discouraged, nine of wands, extremely discouraged, exhausted, overwhelmed, and instead of them fighting the good fight, they would just give up. But whoever you are listening, most likely, you were sent to help this person. Literally, you were sent by God to help this person. This family is attacking you simply because you tried to come in to assist this person. Yeah, you're 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 in a in some kind of battle right now with somebody's family. The seven of cups in the reverse. And this family, it came out next to the high priestess. They're trying to create this false narrative that you're delusional or that you're crazy. <laughs> the emperor, yeah. Or they could even be spreading a lie that you did something that you hurt this emperor. I feel like it's an emperor out here who has been backstabbed and betrayed. They're at rock bottom. They hit rock bottom and it's because of their family. And here's the emperor and the four swords here. Again, a person of authority. This doesn't have to be, it could be a father figure. It could be this person's uncle, brother, somebody close to them. Like I said, a pastor, a professor, a preacher. Somebody here, though, of authority. I feel like that's more so the hierophant, though. This emperor is this masculine. This person, this person is trying to recover from an illness or some type of hardship in their life. You may have been sent in trying to help this person, yeah, to heal. Like really trying to help this person to balance things out to heal. The Six of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and here is the Queen of Cups. Absolutely. The Queen of Cups, High Priestess. That's definitely a very healing energy. Everything about that energy is healing. You, you have the divine wisdom and the knowledge to heal. There is some type of subconscious blockage that this person has. And you've probably been trying to, I'm hearing, coach them, teach them something about awareness. Like it's not, this, this person is, I don't know what's going on with them. But they're really having hard times. This person needs help. They may need professional help. You may be somebody that you're encouraging this person to get professional help. You know what this is? Some of you have encouraged a person, and I get the feeling that this is someone that comes from a family that honestly, like this family may be affluent, they may be wealthy, well known in a particular community or something. That their loved one who you're connected to is battling some type of darkness, some type of demons or addictions, you are sent in to help this person. You may be encouraging this person to get help. 
their family doesn't want them to get help because they don't want the truth out about this person. So they're trying to attack or silence or restrict this divine feminine high priestess energy because you coming along trying to help this person heal is most likely going to expose their family. This person's problem is their family. Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. But see, it's this divine feminine high priestess that came in to balance the situation out. And the family is pissed with you. How dare you come in here with all of this healing energy, all of this knowledge? And this could be somebody, this could be someone's mom that feels like divine feminine is acting like they're my son's mom. They don't like that because there's something here. This person could have been abused by a mother or father. Because it's definitely heavy masculine energy out here. And you may have told this person, maybe, you know, you need to seek help or therapy for this situation. Definitely was encouraging this person. You may even be encouraging this person to travel or to relocate. So that things in their life will balance out. Because you see this person, Seven of Pentacles, you see them really, really struggling here. To take a leap of faith. The fool card is in the reverse. This, this person is struggling to, to create a new beginning for themselves. And this person could have made some very foolish like decisions. They're investing in all of the wrong things. Could be a king of wands. And now this person, they're, they're stuck at a crossroads. Four wands. Yeah. This person that this person's family doesn't want them to take a leap of faith with you. The ten of wands here. They they're trying to block this. The Queen of Swords here in the reverse. This is someone very spiteful. Very resentful, spiteful. They're holding a grudge. They're angry. They're closed-minded. Ten of Wands. You know what this feels like to me? This literally feels like someone's parents. Oh, I hate to say this. Somebody's parents hate them. Like somebody feels like their son or daughter is, I'm hearing a disgrace. This Queen of Swords, I'm, it feels like it's someone's like mother figure. The story, it's like someone's mother is going to this hierophant, King of Pentacles, going to like, like I said, a preacher, a professor, a mentor. Or even making their son or daughter go towards some type of organization forcing them to learn or adopt some type of principles here or something. This queen of wands in the reverse. I don't know if this is another person or if this is even how they have portrayed this high priestess. This could be a high priestess out here. This person has told people that this high priestess is controlling. You have issues with friends and family. People don't like you. You know, you're out of control. You're radical. You're some kind of rebel or whatever. It's because of what you know about this person and their family. So someone has a mom, an ex-wife, a sibling, or someone that is upset 
that a person who has hit rock bottom has shared the truth about their family conflict with this divine feminine high priestess. This is a family that wanted to keep everything in the family, in the household. They wanted to keep this facade up. You may not even be connected to this person anymore. It is a full moon, currently full moon, and, and we're at the tail end of Mercury retrograde, full moon in Scorpio. This is something that is a cycle for some of you that's closing out. You have crossed paths with a person that... You tried to help. You may have been this person's confidant. Their family has been attacking you. Because of what they, I guess, assume that you know about a situation. Or if it's not a family situation, if it's not like someone's immediate family this could even be a, a masculine who has walked away from his, their own family, like a divorce. You could be this high priestess, divine feminine in their life. They could have an ex-partner as well as their family that feels like you are to blame for why this person has left them behind because someone here has moved on. Someone has hit rock bottom and now... They have a new perspective. They traveled to a new place. Okay, they could have possibly relocated. They changed their job. They released this baggage. So somebody feels like the reason why someone is choosing, this may be another story for somebody because it's very specific. Someone, again, family dynamic. Somebody feels that a divine feminine high priestess is the, the cause of a masculine leaving them behind. This divine masculine feels like their family or their ex-lover or something is baggage that they need to leave behind. So because they are spiritually awakening, all of the blame is being placed on the divine feminine high priestess. Because these people are saying, had he or she not ever met that person, they wouldn't have ever left. And the Six of Swords being here and the Six of Pentacles, somebody is saying, had they not ever went towards her or him, they wouldn't have ever left. And if they wouldn't have left, then they wouldn't have stopped giving us their time or even their money. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is a different situation. I'm seeing out here somebody could have had addictions or something. And a divine feminine high priestess has come in trying to, you know, help this person. The family is upset because maybe this person decided to get help. And it, the, the, what, they, what this family has tried to keep as a, a secret is now public. So who do they blame? Divine feminine. Okay. This could be someone that has walked away from a marriage. Because the man perhaps is no longer in the household taking care of this queen of swords in the reverse, this extremely jealous, resentful, spiteful person here, four of wands, ten of wands, yeah, they don't have the same security and stability. Now, who, who do they blame? Divine Feminine. Because Divine Feminine, now that you are I mean, the leading lady in this masculine's life, the time, effort, the energy, and especially the money that they were receiving is being cut off or cut down. So they got to find somebody to blame. Who is it? Divine Feminine High Priestess. And anytime a person is of a very high vibration, and it's, if you're intuitive, you're automatically labeled as the witch. You're automatically the bad person. You're only bad when you are in the presence of people who are corrupt. The strength card. Yeah. And the world here. Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody is so pissed off that this divine feminine has given this person the strength and the courage. Your strength, your compassion has helped you to make this person 
much stronger. Helping them now to complete some type of karmic cycle that they've been in with their family or with an ex-lover. This person is now taking action. The Knight of Swords, they're taking action. Look at that, Seven of Swords and the Sullen. This person is taking action and they're seeing the truth. There's something here is not right about these friends and family. And in order for them to be happy, they need to get away from it. So somebody here is saying, well, Divine Feminine made him or her choose them over our family. They don't care about this. They care about what this person can bring them. This could even be some for some of you, you just started dating someone. And, and because they're spending more time with you, this could even be friends. They're spending more time with you or making certain changes. People around, they're beginning to, to notice the, the, the changes. The, the, and these are extreme changes. This could be an ex over the same. Oh, this person, you know, they weren't willing to come out of that dark space when they were with me. So what is it about that person that's so special? This could be a, a, a sibling. You know, my brother used to always come to me. This could be a mom. My son always comes to my house every Sunday to eat dinner. Now that he's got that girlfriend or whatever divine feminine person, he barely shows up. This is somebody mad that somebody is leaving the nest. Death. Something here is over. <laughs> Something is over. And this King of Wands, I feel, is now King of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. This person is, is choosing to learn more about themselves and how to become more abundant. They're finding an identity outside of their family. That's what this is. The two of, look at this, two of swords, two of cups, and the two of pentacles, two, two, two. This is all about partnerships. This person is, is, is no longer going to be stuck in a codependent, toxic relationship. This codependent relationship that this person has been in, perhaps with their, with their friends or their family, it has been draining them and keeping them stuck. And they're t this person is tired of doing this. The two of swords. The two of swords, though, can also speak of a person being stuck at a crossroads. And obviously, their eyes are closed. That means that you have to start walking by faith and not by sight. Somebody saying, you know what? Let me see what life is like if I just don't deal with my ex. Let me see what life is like if I don't deal with my family for a while. Somebody saying, let me take six months to go and change my life. And that's exactly what somebody is doing. But what people are noticing is that this person is giving everybody the boot, but they're keeping this particular divine feminine around. So they're saying, well, why? Why does he still want to deal with her? But he barely wants to call home. Why does he want to spend time with her, but he doesn't want to come over here to be with us? And then the, uh, the assumptions come, well, maybe he's giving her money, but he's not giving our family money anymore. You know, this could be somebody's ex-wife, the mother of their children. Well, if he's taking her out on dates and doing things for her, then that, that's the reason why he's not giving as much money for the kids. You know, it's, 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 it's BS. It's, it's foolishness. Somebody here does not want a person to grow and progress. They want to keep this control over someone. And this is a lot of different situations. Yeah, the three of cups. What did I just say? The eight of cups and the three of cups. <laughs> Somebody is leaving something behind. They're losing a version of themselves. that was pretty much created by their friends or family or an environment that no longer serves them and they're coming into their own awareness now. And this is leading them to new friends, new family, a new community where they're being supported for this new version of themselves. This also with their hierarchy here, this could be someone that is coming out of being super religious. They're embracing their spiritual family. That's another situational scenario here somebody's family is upset because maybe you've left the church and you're embracing your own spiritual life or community 
And, and of course, that means you're starting to wake up. You're starting to ask questions about things. Somebody's like, whoa, it must be that, you know, that, that spiritual boy or girl that they've been talking to that's got them doing this. I mean, I have anything. To, somebody here, you and another person are a part of a same, the same, like, soul family or soul tribe. It's a soulmate connection here. Y'all have crossed paths and you're teaching each other things. But this person is curious and somebody is realizing that when they break away from the conditioning of their friends or their family or things from their past, they're realizing I'm, I'm getting a lot more success by thinking differently. Somebody is coming, they're becoming empowered. They're standing up for them. Their family is like, wait a minute. Who, look, the page of swords, they're watching. Who exactly is this that's making this person see us as a problem? Look, six of cups in the reverse with the five of wands. And it's all because this person is awakening, the hangman, in the reverse. Somebody is coming into this awareness that they need to stop allowing these people to sacrifice them and cause these delays because they are afraid of losing these people. Somebody is now saying, I'm, I'm okay with losing these people who I've known for so long because they're recognizing there's jealousy, conflict, chaos, and competition that's coming from these people. Somebody is choosing, they don't want to be surrounded by this, this tension. They're not looking at their past anymore through any type of rose-colored glasses. The Six of Cups is in the reverse. Somebody is, re is remembering, my childhood wasn't all that great. Somebody is like, you know, blood isn't necessarily thicker than water. Everything wasn't so peachy when I was growing up with these people. My family, my parents or whomever, these weren't the nicest people to me. Somebody is coming into their awakening and awareness, the Wheel of Fortune, and followed by the Knight of Wands. And they're like, wait a minute. This person is becoming inspired now to let go of this pain and all of this overthinking. This could be you, like I said, or somebody that you're dealing with. I feel that a lot of you are probably, I'm going to say more of this spiritual high priestess energy. This is probably something that you've already become awakened and aware of in your life. But you now are inspiring someone else to dig a little bit deeper, to go beyond just, you know, the traditional conventional lifestyle that they've known and the people around them are mad about it. Like, who are you to go and teach them about shadow work? Because now that they're learning shadow work, they're realizing, oh, my family is a problem. My parents are a problem. This is somebody whose parents want them to be, the parents want to be seen as the hero. And this person is like, no, I'm seeing that y'all were, were were good, but I'm I'm seeing some issues here with my childhood. You could have recommended that someone go to therapy. They went to therapy and now, like I said, somebody there, they're just seeing things clearly. It, it feels strongly like a person is going, and I think I saw this in a reading a few days ago. Someone's third eye is opening. It's their third eye. I saw that in their reading. The third eye in their throat chakra. Their third eye is opening and now they are communicating in a very empowered way. Somebody is saying, no. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to give you my money. No, I don't believe that. No, I don't want to go to church this Sunday. And people are like, what? Who have you been listening to? And of course, if this person has anyone new in their life, it's because of who he's dating. You know, this when whenever you start to put people in their place, they have to find a reason why. They have to find something or someone to blame. You start standing up to people who are supposed to be of authority in your life. Oh, it's because of who you're dating. It's because, you know, you got a promotion. You're acting funny now because of, of your new boyfriend or girlfriend or your new job. It, it's, it's always, it can never just be, no, I'm just taking the rose colored glasses off and I'm seeing that you're not a, a, a saint that like I thought you were. I'm seeing you for who you truly are. <laughs> that's, that's what this is. 
somebody is, is releasing themselves from a very toxic, codependent relationship. And I feel strongly like it's with family, parents, friends. Somebody is, and, and yeah, it's true. Someone holds another person in high regard. Somebody is like, yeah, I'm going to partner up with this person. This person hasn't done anything to me wrong. They've shared things with me that's helping me to see the truth about the people around me who have been lying. That's why they're mad. They, that somebody wants a person to give up a soulmate or a spiritual mentor so bad. You see the outcome? <laughs> I feel like somebody was literally sent into a person's life to break the illusion that they've had for so long about their family. Because this illusion is what's blocking a person from manifesting the family and the life that they want. Someone's This could be someone's divine partner has come in who they're meant to co-create and build with. And that person is healing something within them. Or this is you. Take it how it resonates. This making someone say, you know what? I need to do things differently. I'm not going to do things the way my parents did. I want something different from my life. And so, because you're choosing to live a different lifestyle, your family, they're totally against this. Look at that. The decision card is here. And this is actually the devil. Like I said, somebody wants you to forever be a caged bird. Now that you're going out and you're seeing the world, this, this really feels like a very codependent parental figure. Or sibling or whomever. Somebody is showing you the world in a different way. And this could be the type of parental figure. Every single time you meet somebody. That starts to kind of get you to venture out. They have a problem with. This is a person here. They're not going anywhere. Somebody is putting their foot down. They're saying no. I'm not going to. Stop my spiritual journey. I'm not going to turn my back on possibly a spiritual partnership or my journey to make you happy anymore. I'm not doing that. It says, release yourself from that which holds you back. There's a need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. This, this lack of self-confidence could be what someone is struggling with, but this has been projected onto you and you've been conditioned to be this way because of your family. That's the Hierophant energy. You have a, you come from a family of people who are conformist. And because you're saying, uh, no, I don't think that that's how I want to live. I'm, I'm not going to live in the background. I'm not going to be a, a caged bird. You're the bad guy. And anybody that has come to turn the key, turn the latch on this cage, they're bad too. So what? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone here is very generous, practical. This could be this divine feminine energy. You're happy. You know how to nurture yourself. It says nurture yourself and those you love. You, like I said, for this divine feminine energy, you've already learned this. It could be a masculine, I mean, a male or female, but somebody in this dynamic, in this partnership has already learned not to care what other people think. They don't care about what their family or their friends or anybody thinks. This queen of pentacles is sharing, they're caring, they're generous. These are acts of kindness. Between two people, six of wands in the justice card. I'm telling you.
August 14th or August 15th could be significant. The Empress. This is the Empress card here and the Temperance card. And the Eight of Swords. You see that? This devil. Somebody is finally out. They're out of their cage. They're free. They're out. Somebody has a new way of thinking. And I feel what I'm hearing is you now are re you're reparenting yourself. Look at that. Three of swords, four of swords, five of swords. You're reparenting yourself. After this heartbreak with your family, your friends, or whomever, you're releasing the past. You're healing from all these wounds because somebody here is encouraging you or this is you doing this to someone else to challenge the status quo. You're going within and you're healing. You're like, whoa, man, like, this is a, an exit from the matrix. And now you're forced to reparent yourself. But you've been guided into this new cycle for a lot of you by, by a lover or a very close friend. Wow. This person is like your earth angel. They're, they're encouraging you. Man, don't, don't let those people hold you back. Don't let those people keep lying to you. You're, you're free now. You're realizing like, I was never seeing things clearly about this situation. Some of you have had relationships that have been destroyed by your family or an ex. And you kept holding these people in such high regard. Like, you never noticed that, wow, these people are sabotaging all of my connections. Any person that challenges, look, six of cups. Any person that encourages you to embrace your inner child. And by embracing your inner child, doing shadow work, looking over your past. By doing this, somebody now is in the four of cups. Somebody is looking over their past now and they're like, you know what? Yeah. I need to learn to, to, to love myself because my past and my childhood was not as great as I thought it was because somebody's realizing I was lied to as a child. <laughs> King of Cups here, Scorpio energy, and here's the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles with the Strength card, Seven of Swords, and the Lovers. That's the outcome. Somebody has met their divine counterpart. This is the person that you're meant to build a life with and it's breaking some type of hex or curse or these generational thoughts and patterns or, or outdated or limited beliefs that you have about people or family off and your family they're they're pissed off about it because they had a, a plan to keep you stuck and hidden so that they could make a fool out of you but see this new love is encouraging you now to embrace your inner child and Somebody has a lover that's like a divine feminine or masculine energy. This person is really, really pushing shadow work. Someone, one of you, like, you could be the person, you could be going to therapy or you've been to therapy before, so you work through a lot of issues. You're sharing things with this person about healing, therapy, you know, Self-development, personal development, and they're picking up things slowly but surely. And it's making them think, it's making them really change their perspective. So everything that they once desired, they may not even desire that anymore. And this is what's going to bring a person a lot of financial blessings and abundance. This is their rich and rewarding family life that I talked about a few days ago. Eight of Pentacles. Oh my God. Look at this card. Look, look, look. You see how she's telling this person to look here? Look in that book. You you teaching somebody, high priestess. Hey, you're like, listen, go read that book. Go read some books on productivity. 
hey, have you ever journaled before? Why don't you do some shadow work and healing? Get to, and this person, they're, they're listening. They're like, you know, okay, let me try that. And you're giving this person strength. See, this person has always been mighty and majestic. They just needed the right earth angel to come in and show them you're more powerful than your crazy family. You're more powerful than this super conservative, traditional family of, of conformists that you come from. And the only way that you're going to become the best version of yourself is if you get away from these people. Or if you, it's not trying to make a person leave anyone behind, but it's understanding that in order for you to fly, in order for you to bloom and blossom, you have to get out of this cage. And honestly, I'm seeing the masculine do this, but I'm also seeing the same thing with the feminine. I feel like the feminine has already done this. And you're encouraging this masculine to do the same. You're encouraging this masculine. Hey, free yourself. I freed myself. I had to free myself from my family to get here. You should do the same thing. Or well, this is the masculine that's telling the feminine, listen, I don't care about what my what my friends and family think. You need to get on my level. You need to stop worrying so much about what they think and just worry about what God thinks about you. New life, higher power. Someone here is saying for a new life, you're going to have to ascend. And it's interesting because I just did this reading a few days ago where I said, for some of you, you have possibly a soulmate or counterpart. You cannot... Do this work for them. You can give them the tools and resources, but they have to be the ones that get out. Once you turn that latch on their cage, they have to walk out or fly out themselves. You cannot force it. But I feel like someone, whatever you are depositing, downloading into somebody, like they're receiving the information. They're receiving it. But it's unfair that people are trying to make it seem like you're forcing this person to do something. No. This person is being inspired by your lifestyle. They're looking for a way to grow, heal, and evolve. And what you're teaching them is something that's truthful. People are just upset about it because this truth and clarity that they are coming into awareness of, or this is you, it's debunking all of these other myths and lies about what they've always trusted and believed. This could definitely be a person here that's super religious. That's now meeting a person that's asking questions. This, this right here could be somebody that's even in the Bible. Like, did you read that? So what do you think about that? Now, I know your pastor told you about that, but I'm asking you, what do you think about that? Because I need you to come out of these restrictions. These, this limited thinking. If you want a new life. Yeah, it's a spiritual awakening. These two people, truth be told, they're supposed to co-create. And the time is now for there to be justice served in this situation. And because someone is thinking like this. Due to a soulmate, friends and family are saying, you need to take a nap. They don't want this person to get out of this matrix way of living. And someone now, their soulmate is, is showing them the reason why they need to go after their purpose. But see, someone's purpose is not as a conformist. You, you can't go in and make <laughs> this extraordinary life obviously being ordinary. Somebody is realizing that. They've been programmed and conditioned to be codependent and to limit themselves. Someone has a love here, a friend, a connection. It's awakening their soul, showing them it's a lot more out in the world. But I'm going to need you to understand that family can be low vibrational and karmic. Your friends, your family, your community that's your prison. When you decide to get out of this prison, that's when you will evolve. And somebody here is saying, yeah, it's no place like home with this feminine. I feel myself around this divine feminine.
blessed. This divine feminine is blessed with a lot of wisdom and knowledge. And somebody is like, yeah, I need to go to that person that allows me to be my true authentic self. And they have a deep knowing that in order to do that, they have to clean something up. Somebody here is going to have to choose. You want to stay in the dark or are you trying to awaken to your soul's purpose? What do you want to do? Because the time is running out. And this is a connection. It's an unfinished symphony. This is two people who have a contract. They reconnected in this lifetime. But somebody has to make a decision now. You down for the ride or not? Or are you going to keep letting your mama tell you what to do? You want to be in a relationship with a divine feminine, a soulmate, a counterpart, a divine masculine? Or do you want to keep on... Um, being married to your family and the games that they're playing. Do you want to awaken to the truth? Or are you going to let your, your pastor at the church tell you how to live your life when they in the pulpit lying every, every, every Sunday and Wednesday night for Bible study? What, what are we doing here? It's, a, it's somebody in here that's really not playing games. Someone is very... Um, tapped in <laughs> and they're not they're not about to play this game with with anybody cuz i feel strongly somebody has has um this is like they somebody has this radical self acceptance they understand their journey and they're like i've 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 awakened i'm not going backwards to be in this relationship if I was here to teach you how to open yourself up to the blessings that are here in the universe. Again, as an earth angel, and this is the very hard part about being a healer. Some people are not going to take your advice. You win some, you lose some. You're meant to share the information and the wisdom and the advice and move on. Reading I just did a few days ago, like I said, if you're an ascended master, you have to be careful who you invest in. You can give the information to some people. They don't want it and they're not going to do anything with it. And you have to be OK with it. All you're meant to do is open the gate. It's up to them if they choose to run out of it and fly. When it comes to these soulmates or partnerships or relationships, it is not your responsibility to ever force anything. You are not meant to force a person into any kind of awakening or, or, or partnership at all. Look, look at that complicated confusion. Family, somebody, all of their confusion and, and them not being able to see things clearly has a lot to do with their family. And somebody doesn't understand that in order for them to create the family that they want, they cannot recreate the family that they come from. That's not what God wants. Mirroring. And then here there's options. Someone has two options. More than one love. You can choose to keep loving your deceitful family and these lies. And it doesn't have to be family. It could be family. It could be a job. Whatever it is. Or you can make a decision to get some clarity about where you're going and what you want to do in life. I feel strong. There's a very stern energy out here. And this feels like the divine feminine energy. And I just said stern. You have your air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is someone that's with telepathy here. It's like, you better speak up. You got to say something. Because for someone to be on this path, as a spiritual warrior, as someone who's meant as a chosen divine being, you don't have time to play. If you want to be in a low vibrational energy, you want to be karmic in any way, you can't come over here. Because, see, we have we got places to go. We got people to help. We got, like, we're here on assignment. It says, wait, trust in divine timing. The universe has your back. 
Trust the process. New beginnings. There's a leap of faith. You'll start over. You have your new love. And behind that is false twin flame. It says a lesson is not a divine connection. Rejection. And behind that is life partner. So for some of you, if it's, like I said, family, it could be the family that someone has had. Someone here is still stuck on the family, the marriage or the connection that they had with someone else. And it was a false flame. It's like, if you don't hurry up and reject that energy and move on, you're going to get left behind. This is also, too, with someone's family possibly trying to convince them that someone that is meant to be their life partner, someone wants them to reject their life partner. They're trying very hard to make someone feel like a life partner is a false twin flame, that it's not a divine connection. Everybody is saying that this isn't a divine connection because it's challenging the norm. This connection, in order for this connection to be birthed and to heal and evolve and, and, and actually make changes, that means that people have to let go of the other relationships in their life that are not divine, including with family. Some of you, this person is at a distance. You have your compromise. It says coming back together. Heavy thinking. Big decisions within a few weeks. Underneath that, you have your um, friendship, friendly relationship, raised vibration, closeness, fire. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Longing, someone is longing for you, but they have to go within. You have a person that's longing to be with you, but they have to go within and do shadow work. I feel like once they do that and they come out of this confusion, hopefully by the time this Mercury retrograde is over, they will want to get to know you on a deeper level. But this person right now, something about this Mercury retrograde and this eclipse energy, this, yeah, look at this. Needing forgiveness and to redeem oneself. Fertility, pregnancy, blessings, inner child. In order for someone here to have access to your fertile, abundant energy, they have to actually go in and do their inner child healing and work. This divine feminine is, is saying that they've already had to be redeemed. They're not going to go backwards because someone can't seem to let go of some type of false narrative or they can't make decisions. And I don't blame you. You should stand your ground, divine feminine. It looks like here you will have wish fulfillment. Temptation for um, something here is forbidden. Betrayal, cheating. For some of you, this is a, a person that you've had a family with. You're going to have to let go of this completely. It's just like everything is being eclipsed out. Any person that um, resonates with an old version of you, they just have to go. This is friends, family, lovers. They everybody gotta go. That's just what it is. Most people right now, you have two options, and you could have love for a lot of people, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but you have people that want you to remain who you used to be. To be with, and you have to stay stuck in a cage to be with somebody. Why would you want to be there? You have this angelic help. People, partners that's coming in saying, grow. You know, be free. And you got people like, no, no, no. Stay over here with us. Like, no, let it go. People from your hometown, no, come back home for the holiday. It's okay if you don't want to go home for the holidays. It's okay if you want to start your own traditions. It's okay for you to just do what you want to do. I hate, this is something that I, I just really, I don't like this. I've gone through this myself personally. And people will try to guilt trip you. <laughs> it, it's, I'm telling you, that awareness, whew, that awareness makes people pissed off. It makes them so mad. 
That's why people do so much, you know, trickery and witchcraft and spells to try and block your third eye. They don't want you to see that they're full of crap. <laughs> they don't want you to see that. And, I, and a lot of times, it's your own friends and family, the ones you love the most, that do not want you to see that they are your biggest blockage. You got to get out of this cage. People want you to be a slave. It's like a slave mentality. That's not the life you're meant to live. So stop trying to force yourself to conform. You're not meant to be a conformist. And the fact that people are starting to see this energy and they see you being supported or it even like getting a supportive partner, they're like, oh my goodness, we've lost them forever now. You, you, you don't belong to anybody. I said that earlier, throat chakra just came out. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. Yeah, speak up. You have your God box. It says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So some of you need to just write some stuff down and you can have yourself a prayer box or some of you need to write down a lot of the things that you've been holding in and just burn it. Base chakra, it says, choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, and finances as your words determine your outcome. Yeah, this is something you need to start speaking out what you want, setting boundaries, but also some of you are needing to learn how to pray, like how to pray and manifest things that you want, right? Some, you know, if you're not comfortable with speaking out, write your prayers down or start writing down the things that you wish to manifest. But also, I mean, that's a journaling is a huge part of shadow work for a lot of people. It's one of the easiest things to do. Write down the things that you want to release and then start writing down the things that you want to manifest. But this is like emptying your mind out of stuff that, look, ear chakras. Some of you people have been speaking word curses over you. They say a lot of stuff to you that is keeping you stuck in some type of past life or karmic trap or an illusion. It says this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember Release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. Yeah, it's that's what I'm saying. This awakening, this shift that you're going through has possibly been triggered by a friend or a lover, this earth angel. But this is something that you've never been able to do. Somebody here, your throat chakra has been closed. You could have maybe been a person before you were a singer, a writer, your your voice is very powerful. Look at this. Singing and dancing. Law of attraction. People are trying very hard to silence you. And the moment that you get around a, pe a person or a community or people that are encouraging you to speak out, this is a past life situation. And I can feel it because the energy is so intense. This is someone that knows that there's something very powerful about your voice and they're doing everything to try and silence you. And for a lot of people, it's your family. You could have been the person in your family that in a previous lifetime, you broke away from them. This lifetime, they don't want you to remember who you were. They want you to play small. Get a heart chakra and clear yourself. Yeah, you need to just get away from these people. Because they're going to do everything to try and convince you not to speak up or to speak out. Because if you speak up or speak, I get it. It makes sense now at the beginning. When you start to speak up or speak out, it's going to expose them. Some of you, you're meant to, to sing, to dance, to write, to, you know, influence people. Maybe you're different coaches, shadow work coaches, mindset coaches. A big part of that is you sharing your testimony and your experiences. Your family does not want you or whomever, friends, family, people don't want you to speak out because they are afraid that who they were in your life is going to be shown. 
the facade. So how, how do I say this? You have people now who are worried that your testimony, your truth is going to shatter their the facade that they've been living. 